What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here on Assetto Corsa on the PC, getting ready for Bushido Series Round 4 at Autodrome Chaika. I don't even know if I said that right, but that is a track we're going to be at. I didn't realize you guys can't see it because, well, I, my camera was covering it. So, Autodrome Chaika, Chaika. Ukraine, I, if I said it wrong and you know how to say it, let me know down in the comments because I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. But we're here to test the vet here for round four of Bushuti series. Uh, definitely a very interesting track. Pretty high speed entry, very little room for error with the walls, and you gotta be your tune has to be pretty much on point. So we're here today, test the Corvette. I also, if you guys noticed, the camera's a little different. We have a tablet now here. That's got some buttons on it, but that is for a later video. Um, I did make the tablet set up to have button controls for R-Factor 2 and also a set of Corsa, which I will be getting a little bit more into and showing you guys how to do it in a bit of a tutorial video here on the channel. So that tablet's there for the button box. So the handbrake is now down here. So the handbrake did get moved back down. So instead of me grabbing up here, I'm going to be grabbing down here. So it is taking me a smidge to get used to to notice my handbrake is down here. So... I'm going to be getting used to that and getting used to this track. So we're going to go test this out. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All the description box below. Let's go smoke some tires and uh, have a little fun. All right, so we got our car. We're going to run the basic tune that we ran. Not the basic tune. The tune we ran in the last round. And we're going to give this course a shot. I still got to get, remember get, that my handbrake is here. So we're going to give this course a shot. It is definitely very different and very quick on entry. Like I said, there's no room for error. So we're going to give this a first go out here. I've ran it once or twice, so I kind of remember where the track kind of sits. Handbrake in, throw it in. Too much angle there. Have to feather out. Oh, big correction. Oh, yeah, that's a very big correction. It would definitely be a zero. So that gives you the gist idea of what the track is. It's definitely very different than the tracks we've been running. Uh, it's quite quick and you have to be very smooth on your transitions because if you are choppy like I was there, you straighten up, you have all kinds of issues. So don't definitely want to do that in qualifying or anything like that. So we're going to try get this a little smoother. but we're able to hold it. We kind of straightened up there. Oh, car is not wanting to rotate when I wanted to. Yep, not a good run at all either. This track is definitely going to be a lot of practice involved to get this down to where I'm uh, comfortable in qualifying runs. So going to definitely be working with some of the other uh, Bushido Series style drivers to... Uh, get a tune dialed in for this car and you know get some practice and stuff like that because it I feel like this track is very dependent on a tune the car's got to be dialed in otherwise it's not really gonna work right for you it's a little bit better oh that's much better okay so that was a much better run not gonna lie that run was pretty decent uh the replay angles on this track kind of suck but unfortunately we can't go back and look from ahead unless i used free cam but unfortunately i can't get my free cam to work right for some reason never wants to seem to work for me i just don't think i have the settings or anything right so that room is actually halfway decent so the tune is definitely not perfect i definitely need to change the tune up and do some work on this tune because it is nowhere near uh qualifying or competitive ready at all so we may go hop into the bushido series server and see if anybody's out there trying to do some tandems but this car on this track is going to need a little bit of work try to enter without having the brake there we go kind of miss that zone but would have saved that but <laughs> that was a much much unwanted angle stall we're gonna reset our tires here a very unwanted angle stall and I gotta get break the habit of tapping the brakes when I initiate with the handbrake because this track I don't need to hit the brakes and I feel like that will definitely be a problem in my initiation points Rockingham 
entering in with the brakes and handbrake at the same time, a little left foot brake was not a pro well, technically right foot brake, was not that much of a problem because you needed to slow down. Um, you couldn't really use angle to slow down or be off gear or off position, so this track is more so just chuck it in, don't touch the brakes, get back on power. Oh, don't do that. Oh, I can see a lot of cars smacking that wall here on this track. So this track, like I said, it's going to take a lot of practice and a lot of uh, finesse to get it going rightly. So if you guys don't are subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that and tap that bell notification when you're part of the notification gang. I would appreciate all the support. So let's, uh, let's give this another go. Chuck it in. Third standing cone. Too much, too much. That's going to be the wall. Oh, man. This track is not forgiving, <laughs> and I have a lot of work to do for this round if I want anywhere near to be competitive enough to qualify. I mean, last round I did qualify, you know, in the 40s, or 40th, I think 47th position, so I was pretty happy with my scores, 70 and 75. Check it in. Maybe taking out that thing, a little bit shallow on that one. Hard rotation there. Oh, that's not good. So let's try to go back to pits, change up the view. Um, I need to go into the right screen. There we go. Now, now I can change up views. Having a set out in a while, apparently. This is not the view I wanted. This is not the view I wanted. So I don't have my hood view really set up because I think I uninstalled my game, so unfortunately we're just going to run in this one. I don't have head motion turned on or the Oculus on, so I'm not going to go first person that well. It's much better. A little bit off that one. I managed to fill those two zones and just really wide there. So for sake of just trying it, we're going to send it in cockpit view without head motion. This is going to be very interesting. I have a feeling we are going to smack the wall hard. If I had my Oculus plugged in, I would run this in Oculus, but competing in the Oculus is definitely not the easiest thing to do right now. Too much. And there's so no the registered like the I said, but we decided to bring out the BRZ to see. Maybe I made the mistake and chose the wrong car to uh, register with. But well, we're gonna try this car out and see because some cars are better at certain tracks than others. But unfortunately, registration closed before the track showed up. So unfortunately, you gotta take a pick on what car you're gonna run. So I decided to pick the car that I'm most comfortable in. car doesn't handle too bad. Honestly, it didn't handle that bad. I feel like with a good tune, this car will probably be very dominant in this series for this track. Now I'm going to try one more time, maybe try another car. But, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to need a lot of practice at this track in order to uh, be super comfortable in order to even think about, you know, being good in qualifying. That was a massive angle throw. Oh, wall. Little wall grace. So, BRZ, not my forte. So, let us, let us go try the other car that I used, that I was going to register in, but I decided not to. And that is the 180. So, this car is definitely one of my favorite body style cars. Uh, S13 chassis and these body styles, definitely one of my favorite ones. So we're going to give this one a shot here to end this episode off. All the boost. All the turbo lag. But I feel like this track is mostly on power, so heavy boost cars will probably uh, be very good. Mostly the track is mostly on throttle. Which 
should downshift into third. Yeah, the lack of the boost control in this, falling out of boost, is not very um, present. Because you're mostly on throttle with this cores. There's a quick changeover where I probably should go into third with this car. So we're going to give it one more shot here before we end this episode off. First look at round four of Bushido practice. More to come here for you guys. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we lost it. Definitely not comfortable in these cars. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. First look, and uh, you can see the progression of my driving in the next episode while I practice for Bushido Series. Round four here on a set of Corsa. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.